build a body pose measurement system. Yeah, and it's going to just track our arm motion in three different positions on the arm so that we can generate it on the graphics. Okay, so that was your calibration position. Mm -hmm. And now move your arm. And you're and you're hitting virtual balls with the yeah, so those with are the virtual arm. Okay, now come back to the pose, the the calibration pose. Well, that's pretty good. Not very much drift over that amount of time. So talk about the technology a little bit. Yeah. So basically, we have uh, accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer at each position uh, for, for these three. Um, and these are, these are Keonics? Uh, yeah, Keonics um, boards. It's the KMX-51 for the magnetometer Excel. KMX-62 and the KXG-03. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's um, labeled it correctly. And, um, yeah, so then we connect this to the PIC-32 via IMC. And, and, the, and the PIC-32 is in the canister on your back. I'll show you that. Oh yes, it's in a water bottle. There's a, there's a bedboard inside a t-shirt canister. Okay, all right. And then, so then we have two USB cables, one for serial, one for power. Uh huh. Um, connected to the computer, and then over serial we get the data from, uh, from all these six boards, and we use that data uh, using our sensor fusion algorithms, uh, which do. So for the fusion, we uh, so we average uh, the data. So we have two accelerometers at each point. So we average those together, uh, which uh, cancels out some of the noise and drift by via like averaging, since some of the errors like uncorrelated, which is nice. And uh, for orientation, we use a complementary filter, which is a mix of uh, it's a weighted average of the acceleration accelerometer sensor uh, and the gyroscope, which uh, allows us to get like slightly better uh, oh, so the accelerometer allows us to uh, eliminate some of the slow motion gyro drift uh, when when, 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 you slow when you're almost when you're almost motionless mm -hmm. and then the gyro helps eliminate the accelerometer drift when you're moving quickly yeah because integrating uh, okay. yeah because there's like a lot more error when we integrate quickly okay So are you going to go back to calibration mode now? Yeah. And so the calibration was rather fast. Three seconds. Uh -huh. So that just kind of gets the average values that we're reading um, from the gyros and from the accelerometers. Mm -hmm. And then subtract some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you.